Welcome back YouTube, this is Zatchwell, and today we are playing... Dark Cloud. Alright, let's get right into it, guys. This is a really good old uh, PlayStation 2 game. A book was found in some old ruins. All the scholars who decoded it puzzled over the mystery of the book. A world with two moons illuminating the sky. The many dazzling adventures of a young boy. But whether or not this is a true story, do you believe in the story woven in the book? Maybe it's a fantasy that exists existed only in a boy's heart let me tell you this story this ancient book tells of a magical and magnificent fairy tale and the hero of this wondrous tale whose name is I right, normally it's Toan but uh, we're gonna rename him. The Dark Shrine. Creepy blue people. Okay, so we're fighting Smurfs. And they're dancing. Who are these guys? Okay, so they hired all these dancers. Alright, so they're witches? Okay. Who's that guy? Why is he hiding? Alright, this dance kind of reminds me a little bit of something from the Godzilla universe when they're trying to awaken Mothra. It's always a peaceful dance. Music was good too. So they're reviving a genie? I thought genies were in lamps, not urns. This dance is actually quite nice. Oh yeah, that's that's a good idea. Let's revive a genie that almost destroyed the world. They really got a lot- Is she twerking? Did PS2 admit twerking before twerking was a thing? But, uh, they- They li really like to get a lot of butt shots in this first scene. 
Oh, looks like they finally succeeded in finishing the dance. Oh, that's a big yawn. And he's purple. He looks more like a goblin than a genie. I'm the one who revived you, that's who. <laughs> now remembering he hasn't eaten in 400 years. Well, it doesn't look like there's any food. What? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, dang, he's got a big old tongue. Did he just swallow? He, he just swallowed him whole! No chewing, no nothing. He just swallowed him. Dang! Guess he has no, uh, gag reflex. Quiet little village. I'm doing good, how are you? Okay, apparently, uh, we know each other. Where are we going? What's already started? No, you didn't. Staff member for what? Yeah. Yes, you did. Got to put my hat on. Festival has gone on. Okay. A lot of dancing going on in this game so far. Self expressions, everybody. Remember that. You can dance however you want. up there tubbo well of course you're high up but everybody's gonna look like insects to you shoot lasers Shooting lasers out of his fingers, his head, and his belly button. Okay. Uh, 
Oh no. Oh, this is just... This isn't going in well. Okay, folks, we're dead. That's the end of the game. Thanks for coming by. Oh, never mind. Hi there. He Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Maybe I don't wanna. Fine. Okay, okay, I'm getting up. Huh? Who are you, old man? Oh, you're the king of the fairies. Okay. No, I thought something really good just happened. Okay, Dark Genie. Evil men. Yeah, I can tell he's got a lot of power. And it's dark. Yes. And I'm pretty sure I got crushed by a windmill. Okay. That, that makes me sad a little bit. Oh, half the world's gone. Great. Men from the east. Okay. I saw so they're planning on using it for a war, I'm guessing. And it's pure darkness. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, so you all have the same power, so you can you should be able to stop this thing. Well, why don't you? Oh, you're not powerful enough? Then why are you the king? There's one of him, and there's apparently a lot of other spirits. Why don't you all just join forces? Okay. Oh, thank you for telling, uh, saying that I have a kind heart. I don't, I, I don't know if I want that responsibility. Okay, you're not giving me any choice. All right, so this thing's called the Atlamilia. Bright light, yay. Yeah. Doesn't look like a village, though. Oh, I can uh, make it back to its original form? Yay! Alright, so you turn them into spheres called Atla. Okay. Great, now I gotta travel the world to set my village back up. Maybe I don't want another lesson. You made so many more questions than answered. Well, at least we're uh, optimistic. Okay. Okay. So now I'm in touch with nature? Okay, that's kind of cool. Now we're gonna go over to the chief's house. All right, we're in No Rune Village, starting tutorial area. Right. Is it just me or is that? Does this house look like a blown-down blimp? 
If you think it looks like a blimp, leave it down in the comments below and let me know if you think it's the same way or what it looks like to you. Ah, Zatchwell, you're alive. Yeah, I mean, I kind of have to be if I'm standing in front of you. Yay, we're the only ones here. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can believe it considering I had a windmill dropped on me. How about you go do something about it? Uh, so we gotta go get Dran. Wonder if he's a dragon. Well, it's in the Divine Beast Cave. Dragons are known for being divine beasts. Why don't I need a key to get into a... That's weird. I need a key in order to get into a cave. Why do I need a key to get into a cave? Alright, well, let's see. Oh, we can get here. Uh, let's rob him. Oh, we got a... Caterpillar. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna run down here. Okay, over here's the cave. Big keyhole, use item with square. Alright, so instead of using X in order to open things up like doors, we have to use square to insert the items. Alright, all these uh, little circles that you see here are Atlas, so we got eight to get on floor one. Oh, you're back. Really? I thought... Oh man, you're confusing me. Wretched? Why is it called Wretched? This is the Divine Beast Cave. Okay. Who says I'm a beginner? I gotta find Dran's crest in order to get to the next floor. They're always carried by a monster. Alright, so we don't know which monster has it, so we basically gotta kill every single one. Alright, so teleportation basically. If there's monsters left on the floor, can't teleport me. But I can use escape powder. Alright. Weapons, yay! Be oh, they're breakable. Repair powder, okay. So I can change, or I can upgrade weapons, that's, that's nice. And as I said about the Atla, we go around, we collect it. Yeah, that was a little bit long. Alright. Let's get into this dungeon. See if we can't find anything nice. Alright. What is this? Oh, okay. We're pumped up with energy now. 
Kind of cool. Skeleton. Alright. He wasn't really much of a challenge. Ooh, he dropped some bread. What he, he dropped up prickly, so we got another uh, caterpillar. We got a piece of the river. What else do we get? We got Macho's house. up here in the top left hand corner we have our health bar then we have our weapon HP bar or durability and then underneath that where it's the water droplets is we have to watch our uh, hydration level if it gets too low then we won't or we will start taking damage from being too thick oh we got the drums crest already. Alright, now these things, these chests, these are nice. Because we could get uh, a new weapon out of it. So, let's see here. It's locked, forcing it open may activate the trap. Alright, so we could use a treasure chest key, but we don't have any. Or we can guess the trap and hope for the best. So, let's... I'm going to go with poison. Alright, it was poison. So now we can open it without risking it. And we got a base lard. Looking back now and seeing these graphics. God, I'm I missed this game. This was a good game. Come on, look, we got another chest. But let's take care of these bats. What do we get in this chest? Magical crystal. Alright, so it basically just tells us where everything, uh, all the animal, uh, enemies and chests and other atlas are. Kind of useful. We got a macho. What do we get now? And we got a map, so now we can see everything in the dungeon. This also heals us and fills up our water instead of us having to go in our inventory and use it. We got some more river. Check out the last chest here. And we got a petite fish. Okie dokie. Well, let's head uh, down further into the level. Alright, so... Let's insert Drawn's Crest and go down. Alright guys, this is where we're going to leave off this episode. If you liked the, this uh, video, like it. If you didn't, let me know. But I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.